This is my Tegra Note 7. I purchased it the day it came out on Newegg and I've had it ever since. It's been quite a few months now and I've really loved this device. So I'm going to give you a quick tour. You have the little camera up the back, the power on off, headphone jack, HDMI out and USB. And on the base you have a little speaker grill type thing for the bass sound, so that's just a speaker grill. On the front, I opted for the nice cover. It's got a canvasy type texture and a little plasticky holder that um, slides into a slot in the back. The holder is a little bit more flimsy than I would have liked, but uh, I didn't think it would last, but it's actually held up quite well, so that's a good thing. The cover, when you open it up, turns the device on. There's a little magnetic trigger. When you hold the device at the back like this, you can see that it acts as a little stand so that when you're watching movies and uh, anything else you might want to do where you don't want to be holding the device, and there are little different ways you can configure it depending on your, your taste. So the device itself just updated this morning to the latest KitKat. The updates come directly from NVIDIA, so that's pretty exciting. Let me just show you there that it is running KitKat. Spin the little K around and the logo comes up there. So that's pretty exciting. What that does, and I noticed right away, is that when I go to applications that allow you to go full screen, you see that the navigation bar on the top and bottom is just completely gone. So that's really nice. The extra cool thing and what makes this tablet unique is that it is a pen device. So you pull out the little pen from the slot in the back there and you can see that a direct stylus uh, option comes up and you can configure this to give you a quick launch option for any applications that you might have that you want triggered when you pull out the pen. So here's my note taking application that I use in class when I want to take notes. And it's called Note Anytime. Now you can get it in the App Store. And you can see that it works quite well. very responsive and uh, kind of an intuitive way of, of taking notes in class. The pen itself is kind of the one that comes with it has a chisel tip and so when you are making strokes with it that are wide, you get a wide stroke and when you use just the tip you get a narrower stroke. And it's also pressure sensitive as well so if I just lightly press, I get like a little bit of ink coming out or less paint coming off the brush. And if I press harder, I get a, a whole bunch of ink coming out. And so with it, I've done a few little paintings that I've, I've quite, I wish I had more time, but, uh, uh, you know, I've, I've been pretty happy with it. You can, you can see that it, it works quite well. The stock Android that comes with it, the stock interface, stock home launcher, I'm not a real big fan of because it just puts these huge big spaces between all the icons and, and you have to flip between all the different applications that you have installed to find the one you are after. So quite a while ago I switched to a launcher called uh, Nova Launcher and you can now switch between your home launchers very quite easily. So here's my Nova, Nova Launcher setup, and what that allows me to do is make it so that I can scroll up and down, I can very quickly get to everything, that's all my icons there without having to flip through pages, and I also, can also make categories, so here's where I keep all my games, my art programs, these are system things that I really don't want to wade through, I just want them to go away. And the cool thing about Nova Launcher is that it has the transparent top and bottom, which the regular stock Android doesn't seem to have, so Nova Launcher appears to be more KitKat than KitKat is. Uh, what's really cool about 
this system is that it allows you to control the battery use. So the whole time I've been showing you this, I've only been using two of the four cores that it has. If I want to really crank this up, uh, if I have some really fast game that I'm using, or I want to uh, you know, do some benchmarks or something like that, I can crank that up and um, I haven't really noticed that much of a difference between them. I'm not a, like a power user in, in that way, but you should be able to more quickly switch between your applications and, and play games faster with that direct control over how many processes you have uh, on at once. So that's uh, kind of a quick little tour of my tablet that I, I'm obviously a huge fan of and uh, wouldn't uh, hesitate to recommend it, especially because it's only $200. Any other pen uh, input tablet that you can see from, from the other manufacturers are, are quite a bit more expensive. So that's it. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this and uh, I might make some more if this becomes popular.